Wildfire coverage now as firefighters have lost some ground in their effort to try and contain the Silverado's fire. Today, the U.S. Department of Forestry said the blaze is 52% contained. That's down from 60% containment that they reported just yesterday. U.S. Forest Service says that's because the fire is growing in remote, hard-to-reach areas. Weather is also a major factor. A burnout operation is planned for Chew's Ridge, so you may see more smoke coming from there in the coming days. Fire has burned more than 107,000 acres since it started July 22nd. With the fire now in the Ventana Wilderness, many people in Palo Colorado are starting to think about the next challenge, which is winter rains. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad was in Big Sur today. She has the latest on the recovery efforts for us. Well, Dan, Aaron, they got a lot more information today. The U.S. Forest Service released its soil uh, study results and they show us the areas that we can expect the highest potential for flooding, for erosion and for slides. A big boulder sits on Palo Colorado Road. Uh, this winter is going to be uh, a mess. The rock part of a slide in a burned area of the canyon shows erosion is already happening in Palo Colorado before the rains have even arrived. Just uh, it's burnt up all the root systems so nothing's holding the mountainsides together so when it rains it's just going to it's going to be gnarly landslides. That's Nathaniel McKegney. He grew up in the area and it's been a hard summer for him. You may remember McKegney from the first time we talked to him. It was just a few days into the fire. There's only one one way out, so we could just take what we had and packed it in our car and took off and yeah, we don't even know what our place is like. He now reports his house is standing, but like other Palo Colorado residents, he's worried about what will happen when rain hits the post fire landscape. The thing about the fire is it just takes away the vegetation, which you want on the hillsides for erosion. So we just try to replant the hillsides and get them to grow as fast as fast as possible. And the, you can see the structure starting to come back and the roots are starting to come in. So this is a moderate soil burn spread. It didn't go very deep. A team of soil scientists with the U.S. Forest Service brought in earlier this month to test the soil, soil on the soil north half of the sand. fire. While the vegetation here is charred, scientists say the soil only suffered a moderate burn. Areas where there was the most severe burn are seen on your screen in red. A lot of it shows up in Palo Colorado, which based on the survey has been identified as one of the places with the highest potential for flooding. We obviously, if you look around it, it's a lot of steep uh, terrain, so we are always have some concerns about mudslides, so it's definitely going to be heightened. Now, county and state officials can use this information to plan for the winter and see if there's any preparation work they can do. Dan, Aaron. All right, All right very good. Thank you.